Ant-Man's back. And young waffles. That is my revive on Ant-Man. There's nothing I can do about Jeffrey, though. Jeffrey is dead. No, because I've never actually picked up any rare candies. The Nuzlocke is pissing me off, actually. I'm just about ready to throw in a towel and say, fuck it, because this is my third time through this game. Because I keep failing. And there's only so much bucking up and can-do spirit before you just get discouraged. I'm going to put him there because... There's no getting him back until the end. Even though I don't want to because his stats suck. I'm not even enthusiastic about my reserves still. Oh yeah. The first time, I was all the way to the Pokemon League. The second time, I had just beaten... I had actually just started my uh, fourth session. Going to Osiris City, and I wiped at Twist Mountain fighting the rival. And this time... Wherever I am... I'm... If I fail... Then that's... And just go and do a regular fucking run from then. From where I left off. Not to mention however many times I failed before the run even got started. Like the act the the true first attempt actually failed in Accumulatown. I failed to Dudley, which was Grimsley. But this is between different attempts. This is probably my 10th Nuzlocke series. Because Red succeeded, Silver succeeded, Emerald failed once because I accidentally soft locked the game using a cheat to get a Pokemon to learn HMs. Um, then Emerald succeeded. Uh, Platinum succeeded after I got it off the ground. And this is my... Th oh, this is Nuzlocke number 8. That's not including all the times that I failed like really close to the beginning of the game. Pre first badge. I think you spelled it right. I never have any problems. And I limit myself to level 50 going into the league. And that usually works for me, but. Whenever I play, I usually have a really well-rounded team, which my current team is not. I've got two double weaknesses to fire. Actually, let's look. What is my team's weakness? Uh, super on fire. Like, times four fire. Times four fire flying. Electric. Ground. Ground. Yeah, I've got a lot of weaknesses and a crippling weakness to fire. Let's 
That's not bad. Oh, that's the girl that gives me not flame charge. Damn it! Cut her off. Finally, a good physical attack! Oh, Chantal. Oh, yeah, she's not fun. What TM number was that? 43. And the entire team can learn it! Um... Worth a damn would probably benefit from that the most. Though she has Seed Flare, never mind. Um... Hellhound only has one physical attack, and that's the only physical attack I want her to have. Because he uses her ability. Hmm. That's right, I already had a grass type attack on him, I believe. Thanks, Shadow Triad, I was gonna pass him anyway, asshole! This is the one you wanted. Yeah, I was 20 feet away. Let's go. Another shit TM. Let's see. I originally played White first. I actually played a fan translated Japanese ROM, which was interesting. Especially since it was on old laptop that could not emulate DS for shit. If Growlithe survives this, I heard as about to say, pure power fucking Shadow Force? From a base 109 attack power? Yeah, there's like no chance. My first Pokemon game that I I personally owned was Blue Version. Back in 1998. Though, I did play my brother's yellow version. Hippopotamus Sandstream? Zero out of ten! Hmm, Fury Cutter's probably gonna do me the most good. Ooh, what's Miracle Eye gonna do? It's not like I'm a dark type, so hitting me with... Psychic type attacks isn't a deal. <laughs> uh, my overall experience with the uh, randomizer this time is a negative score. 
Uh, have you played Heart Gold Soul Silver at least? Because uh, as much as I love Gold and Silver as my favorite in the series, Heart Gold and Soul Silver did them better. Probably should have switched Worth a Damn to the front. Though Worth a Damn probably would have gotten her shit kicked in. Against these two, probably not. Hmm. Let's go for the Shadow Force on Corsola and Fire Charge on Snover. <laughs> Hell, even Earthbound, which was unedited in, other, in any way at all was fucking me pretty bad. Wants to learn Dig. If only that was Sand Cloak. Yeah, no. Blue Sub 6 can surf. That's actually probably going to be a really bad idea if I don't get the kill. Okay, I did. <laughs> yeah. Though, I will say I had a lot more fun with Earthbound. Uh, the original Punch-Out, Super Punch-Out, or Punch-Out Wii. That series is... a little weird. I've never beaten Punch-Out. Punch out Wii. Uh, that's uh, basically a point for point remake of the original on NES with maybe one or two of the Super Punch Out bosses. That's a good one. Though I will say that's a bit of a tearjerker ending. Earthbound. TM counter. Feather Dance and Worry Seed. Not worth Hyper Beam prices. Um, I think there might be some stat differences. Lampent isn't even good at physical attacking! Why gimp your HP for a stat that sucks? Alright, who else wants to fight? I believe just this guy. Just Mirror's Forest been a really common name this run. Usually it's stupid shit like pie. Oh yeah, it's special attack, yeah. Physical attack? Not so great. Alright, what's my Route 9 encounter? Vile Plume! 
And because I'm a fan of Pro Jared, we already have a name for it. this thing with. Oh, fuck it. Let's just go straight for a dusk ball. I don't even remember if Nuptup was male or female. I don't care. I'm gonna hit it with hyper with a uh, fucking fury cutter and it's gonna live. Yup. Called that one. Shards are worthless. Ooh, toxic plate. Still don't have judgment. Oh, isn't that nice? Fucking Garchomp. I don't want Blue Sub Six getting any more experience. Oh shit, this right, Neptop's on the party. Do I want to use her though? Skill link. No, I don't. Nope. Not in black, white one. Black, white two? Yes. Oh hey, it's Google. Actually, have I had a. I do not see Porygon on here, but I already have napped up. For all the good that uh, my Porygon did for me last run, may as well have just called him Bing. Or Yahoo. Alakazam! I would have much rather had that. Yeah. Only five more levels. Must have learned block. It's a move that Ant Man would normally have. What? Negative 20 out of 10. Luckily, we don't have to worry about that.
I don't care right now. I know it's gonna make the music sound like ass, but this is a very plot-heavy segment of the game, and I don't care about the plot. I just want to get through the fucking game. I'll start caring about the plot again at the Pokemon League. Because it'll be stuff we haven't seen on this Nuzlocke yet. Uh, I don't know, the 3rd gen remakes didn't grab me. Probably because I'm so used to playing the insane fucking difficulty of these randomizers. And the base game just doesn't have teeth anymore. I played the Moss Deep City in Alpha Sapphire and stopped. I never even started my copy of Omega Ruby. Not even to get the shiny Beldum. And I'm probably not even going to start it to uh, get the DNC. Actually, I don't even know if I even want DNC. Just a little farther. I don't know. I wish it was possible to do randomizers on the new games. I mean, I've seen it done. I just don't know how it's done. And I'm not brave enough to hack the firmware on my 3DS. Am I able to get into the gym yet? Can I get up the Route 10 yet? Or is the road blocked off? Oh, I already have. I did Emerald. Like, last year. Embor! Have we had any of his previous forms? Negative. But we did have a Tepig last time. His name was Floyd. Ten. Oh, and it's properly leveled. Am I going to leave Ant-Man out? Fuck no! Um. Send in Blue Sub 6. Oh, I don't have a choice. I didn't do Fire Red Leaf Green or Ruby or Sapphire. I did Emerald. Please don't have a fire attack. Mm. Oh, earthquake. Dandy. Ow. Coming up here was a bad idea. Coming up here was a bad idea! Arena trap! Earthquake! Oh my god!
At least he does have Earthquake. That's novel. I'm gonna risk another Fury Cutter. Shit! Need to catch him first. I can't afford to lose Ant Man again. Because if he dies again, that's over. Oh. If only I still had Jeffrey. Magic Bounce would have been great here. Fuck it, let's try the Dream Ball, even though it doesn't do anything. It's just a standard Pokeball, I just like the design. Mm. Great Ball? No! Damn it! Let's see, that's Tailwind... Sleep Powder, Earthquake. Have we seen this fourth move yet? Because I haven't been, really been paying that close of attention. Good! Give a nickname to Embor. Uh, um, I kind of want to name him Cordon Blue because that's chicken and ham. That's a possibility. You know what? Let's go for the Archer 